Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Valentine's Day tumbler. And also guys, thank you for watching my videos. Uh, can you please subscribe and like my videos? I enjoy doing these and showing everybody neat ideas how to do their tumblers. So, here we go. Alright, so here's a 20 ounce skinny. And I went ahead and sprayed it white and then I sprayed it this vintage blush. Um, it's this right here. It's called vintage blush. Blush. And it's a rustoleum. And I got this at Walmart. Okay. Now I'm going to go put glitter on it. I'm going to use ro rose gold. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and epoxy these. I have two of them. One's going to be a different color whenever I'm done, but I'm doing them both rose gold right now. So I'm going to go ahead and do the epoxy on this. I don't even know this paper. That's for my glitter. I'm going to put it on here. And I don't wait to put my glitter on here. As soon as I epoxy this, I put the glitter straight on. Because I tried letting it go for about an hour or two and then put the glitter on it. But there's some spots when you put the glitter on, it shows up different. It doesn't, they, I, don't, I don't know how to explain it. But you can tell the glitter's laid different than on certain spots of the cup. So I just put it straight on so I know it's all the same. And I haven't had issues with it at all. So, And I don't torch it or anything because you don't want it runny as it already is. So I'm going to go ahead and just epoxy both of them. So then I can just go one to the other. You definitely want to make sure you get all the spots on here. I'm going to try to get those. All right. And just rub it across to make sure all the spots are filled. And I don't put it on very heavy either. I think I did 25 mLs. So I can just, just to have a little extra, but it usually takes 10 mLs. Okay. I'm go ahead and go to the next one. I'm sorry about the noise. I got other cups turning up farther up. Just getting them all done. I'm trying to get this on. And to get the bottoms, I just pop them right off and get the bottom on them. Definitely want to make sure you get around that crack of the tumbler. Okay. Turn the finger across. Just make sure it's good. Okay. So I have extra. I made a little too much, but a little extra doesn't hurt. Alright, so I'm gonna get my paper. Right there. Go ahead and start sprinkling it. Just go up and down. Up and down. Turners go a little fast. So can't get all the spots. I just go around a couple times just to make sure you get it all, especially up here at the lip. Definitely want to make sure you get that.
I do it a couple times because you never know. Ooh, this is spot. I'm gonna pop it off. I don't know, this is good. I'm gonna go ahead and pop it off. Okay, so I popped it off. Just checking the bottom, make sure I get it good around the corners. Put it back on the turner. Okay, I got it back on there. There's a spot on here I seen that I needed to fix. Trying to find it. Here somewhere. I don't know where it went. I know I see the spot. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it over it again. And I only do one layer of glitter. Okay. And then, as soon as that goes around a minute, tap a little bit. to my next one. Okay, so they're both done. And I know I don't care to do my tumblers like this, like the glitter, the foxy and then the glitter, because it leaves different spots. Like some of the glitter will lay flat than the other. I've tried several different ways, do a little bit and let it go. And I've even let my foxy sit for an hour or two and let it get tacky and then do it and I still have the same problem. But since I'm glittering this and then putting spray paint over top of them after I epoxy them, I'm not worried about it. So I went ahead and do this so they get done a little quicker instead of doing two coats of glitter with Mod Podge. That's what I basically, that's what I use the most. I very rarely do this. So, so now I'm gonna let them go for about four hours and then I will epoxy them. Okay, so I went ahead and epoxied this. I put two coats on it and I waited for it to dry. And then I went back and sanded it down. So now I'm ready for my decals to put on. And then once I put my decals on, then I will spray paint it with the colors that I'm going to use. Okay, so I had to put the decals on, and now these are the decals that I want to peel off. I'm going to spray paint these, and then I'm going to peel off the ones I want for the rose gold glitter to show through. So just remember that, and also um, to make sure your words aren't going to be overlapped with this, like your the vinyl you're going to put on top of the paint after you epoxy it. I have put like little mat, um, pieces of scotch tape on the back of the of these, and then I'll stick them here to what I want it, where I want it, and then then and then I go around and make sure, you know, the other vinyl is going to not overlap where I will place this. Okay, and I'm doing two different ones. So this one's got XOXO kisses and stuff, and this one's got hearts on it. Okay. So now I'm going to go um, spray paint these now. And then once I spray paint them, then I'll show you and then I'll show you what you do when you when they when the paint's dry and you peel it. Okay? So those look good. Just make sure you rub your finger across, make sure they're all down. They're good to go. Huh. So they're ready for paint. Okay, so I went ahead and spray painted it and I let it dry. And then I started peeling it. So right here, as I peeled the vinyl from underneath, 
And there's the rose gold glitter. So I'm going to go around and start peeling the rest of it. Okay, so I went ahead and peeled it all. So here's what mine looks like. And then I put a heart on the bottom. Okay, so what I'm going to put here is Be My Valentine. But after realizing what colors I did, I'm probably going to do black, which I can use these again for a different cup. So I'm going to turn these and do them all black. I'm going to say Be My Valentine across it. So here's that. So I'm going to go ahead and epoxy this. And then it'll be ready for decal. Okay guys, so I went ahead and epoxy this twice. So it's all nice and smooth. So now I am ready for my decal. And I wanted to go ahead and show you a closer up what I did. So the vinyl that I had on for, I peeled it off. And then why it was epoxy in the first coat on top of that, I went ahead and sprinkled some chunky glitter, as you can see. I put some white, red, or not white, I'm sorry. Clear, like it's like a holographic glitter. And then I did red, pinks, to match, to go along with it, and a little hint of red. You can see. See how nice that looks when you peel the paint up, and then epoxy over top of it? Now I'm also going to add some hearts and stuff on it, like on it, like vinyl hearts. So right now I'm going to get ready to put my decal on. Okay. So I have, it says, it'll have it like this. Okay, the other one's on this paper. It says, be mine, be mine, be mine. And then it'll say, Valentine. Okay, so here we go. And I honestly just eye it. So I'm basically winging to put the decal on. I'm putting so many decals on anyway, I guess my eyes kind of figure out if it's straight or not. So I'm going to go ahead and put the decal on this. And I'm worried that this pink is not going to show up, so I'm not sure. But like I said, I'm just going to put it on and go from there. And I still kind of like measure it if I need to, if I think it looks like it's a little off, just to be safe. Well, that's not too bad. I was worried it was going to blend in too much, but it's not. My light paint actually a little bit darker than that. I wasn't thinking whenever I sprayed it to realize what decals I had printed out. So I'm going to go ahead and get this done. Okay, there's the dot for it. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest on. Okay, I went ahead and just finished it real quick. Be mine, be mine, be mine, Valentine. Here you go. I know, I keep looking at it thinking it's curved, but it's just the diff the ways the loops are on it. I keep thinking, man, it's crooked. I measured, I just measured it and everything, and nope, it's even. And I even measure this, because it drives me insane if they're crooked. It's just the way how it's on there. So, okay, next I have these glitter hearts, so I'm going to add some more little hearts on it around, and I just peel them right off, and these little knives, I got these at Dollar Tree, I think mean, you get like a pack of four for a dollar, they're very hard to find, I mean, I have three dollar stores that are like close to me, and I went to all three of them, and one of them actually had them, so I ended up buying like six packs of them, <laughs> I go through these like crazy, and it's unbelievable how quickly I can go through these. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and just random places, and they'll stick right on there, just to give it some offset of different glitter, or hearts, instead of just a rose gold. I'm trying to see. I never know where I want to put these at all. Let's see, in here. And what I'm using is glitter vinyl for it. Just get different ones in random places. I made small hearts and like medium sized hearts too. Okay. Do medium 
this off of it. Let's see where I was gonna put that. Hmm. I just wanna have it some places that don't really have a little spot. Stray parts on there, random places. Either way, it'll look good. Stick them on there. Let's see. I don't get too crazy, but try and get rid of this. Okay. Let's see how that looks. Not too crazy. It looks good. Just different random spots for the glitter ones. Okay. And then I have these hearts I'm going to add on there. These are like a uh, hot pink. And just to give it a different. Let me see. Stick it on there. I only cut out like three of them just to put in random places. Sorry for the squeaking in the background. That is my turners. Doing their business. <laughs> I shall say. Spinning them cups for sure. They're so awkward to put on. Ones that are like outline hearts. There we go. Alright. I only did like three of them. These little hearts. For random places. There you go. Alright. So my next one I have is this one. Go ahead and put the box seal on it. And this is the one that's going to get right here. It's going to get the Be My Valentine. So I got the glitter vinyl I'm going to put. And then I'm going to put this over top of it. Which I'm, I went ahead and cut out a different color. I'm going to do a different color. I didn't realize that it's not going to look right. Bright pink with these colors. Rose gold and then the nude color. So got the other color. So I'm going to go ahead and put vinyl on this one. Yeah, so I went ahead and added the vinyl to this. So I went ahead and did the vinyl with the overlap. It took me a little time to do the regular black vinyl over top of the glitter vinyl because it peels right back up. So I had to use my fingernail and get it down there. But there you go. So now it's on to epoxy in. And also how I did my glitters up here is when I had it epoxy turning, I waited at least. 15 20 minutes and then I went back and added the glitters and I just used a little medicine cup and took this and I actually kind of touched the cup a little bit with epoxy and then went in my cup and dabbed them and put them in place now like these ones like the little smaller dots I just, I just took a, a fingertip and just sprinkled it across and then if some of them went across on top of the, the shapes the rose gold I'd move them over a little bit so then they're not overlapping there's a couple that's went over them. I must have didn't see them, but it's not very noticeable. So there you go. Here's a Valentine's Day cup. So I just got to put two more coats on it, and it'll be ready to go. It turned out really good. And here's this one. So here's both of them. So they're ready for their last two coats, and then they're ready to go. I think they turned out really well, too. So if you guys have any questions, so if you have any questions, please leave a comment, and I'll answer you. And any other questions? Let me know. Also, please subscribe and like this video and also ring that bell. So every time I upload a video, you get a notification and you can see the new thing that I did. All right. Thank you. Bye.